We are moving right along and we're up to K5. The K row has been relatively straightforward so far and K5 is no exception. This is the 135th square of 169 of the entire quilt. So getting to the end here. K5 is got just four different sections and then these diamonds are assembled and applique on. And so it's really quick. We're gonna, I'm gonna base these squares opposite from each other. So I'll like I'll base the sides and then the top and bottom of this one and then I'll do the opposite here. I'll do top and bottom and then the sides so that doesn't um, impede when I attach them. Here I'm going to do the same thing. Uh, do based on opposite sides and then opposite sides and then switch it up for the focus fabrics. These diamonds are going to be assembled first before they're appliqued and they get applique on here and I'm going to find the center. I'm going to make a line from corner to corner and then from corner to corner on my background pieces so that I can center that diamond appropriately. So I will get started by basting and assembling my base square. So I got my squares basted and these are assembled and these are assembled so I'm just going to put this row together and this will give me my squares background so I can assemble my diamonds for applique. So I've got my basic block assembled. Now I've got to assemble my two diamonds and they're already laid out here. So I will get these basted and assembled like the same, the same theory behind how I assembled the block. So I basted my little diamonds and I've got um, I did them all the same way so they can nest into each other. I did the sides first and then the other sides. So then these nest very nicely into one another. And then I've stitched two of them. You've got, I want to put my reds here on the point so I get a red line across the square like it is here. So there is a difference. If you put them like this, that's what you're supposed to do. But if you put them like this, then you're going to have the white. So if you want to do it that way, fine. Just make that conscious decision. Don't make it, have it made for you. So I'm going to put these together like so. I've taped this one. So that's how it's going to end up once I stitch this together. And remember, once you get to the center, you're going to want to use your cross seam method, which is, if I can pick this up here, you're going to stitch a little way on one end and then you're going to start at the other end. You're going to tie off, stitch, start at the other end. When you get to this intersection, you're going to take a stitch from one side, cross it over to the other, pull it tight. Do I do a couple of those stitches and then you're going to do stitch here and cross it over. What this does is it pulls this together, minimizes the growth. And this is um, the method I use on some of these blocks with a lot of pieces. Um, so then I'll finish the seam and then I can be able to, I'll be able to place this on my block in the proper spot. So when I originally put this together at the beginning of the video, I had these flipped. So the red was here and the white was here because my theory was that it didn't matter. I'll just do it the way, you know. So I put it together and then I flipped it around and I went to line these up and they didn't line up because if this was here then it would have to go this way and it didn't line up with what I did here because when I did my block prep I planned it based on this configuration. So I actually took this middle seam out and flipped it so it came out to this because now I can put these because they go diagonally across the block and the fabric is this right direction. But if I really want it to be like this, just turn it 90 degrees. So I'm going to do it that way. But I wanted to explain why it wasn't the way it was earlier. So I'm going to put both of these triangles. I'm going to, I'm going to make some pencil marks in each one of these blocks and line up these diamonds and uh, staple them down for applique. So I've made a pencil mark on 
all a, I lined up a ruler across this entire thing and I made a pencil mark through the diagonal of this block and then I made a light pencil marks that connected these two points and these two points so that when you go to line up your diamonds obviously you put your red points on this line and you put your background points on this line so that way you don't have to worry about spacing because everything is already assigned to a specific point and then I stapled them down and now I'm going to stitch down my diamond applique pieces. So I've appliqued the sides of my diamonds down and I've removed my staples and now my K5 block is completed.